Good morning. This is Ben Socek with Home Downsizing Solutions and welcome to this Zoom call here this morning. And today I have a very special guest, Teresa Jordan, with Care Matrix in Omaha, Nebraska. And their motto on their website anyway is Senior Housing Experts. Uh, so Teresa, thank you for joining me here today and uh, welcome. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, if you could, Teresa, tell us a little bit about yourself and about uh, how Care Matrix came into being. You bet, you bet. So, Care Matrix, uh, when we when we started, I was in corporate America, and um, I think a lot of people understand that corporate America is really all about revenue and uh, not servicing um, servicing the customer. And I was extremely frustrated and I won't go into that story, but uh, I service is very important to me and ethics is super important to me and I was just getting frustrated. And I was doing a lot of traveling and my husband is uh, a disabled vet and I needed to be home with him and um, I ran across this opportunity, um, which is now what, what, you know, what is care matrix and I, I thought how awesome that I can help people. Um, I own it, so um, I know that the ethics are going to be there, and I know that I can serve and, and serve correctly. Uh, and so, um, and I love it because I'm also a caregiver, so I totally understand what, what people are going through. I understand their array of emotions. Um, I understand, too, that, you know, uh, if you have never done this before, and hopefully you never have because it's not a fun process to go through sometimes, uh, you don't know where to go and, and what to ask. And uh, that, that is why we're in business is, is to help people navigate this, this journey. Mm -hmm. And um, what would you say, uh, I, I mentioned on your website, senior housing experts, of course, but what in your, in your own words would you say, what is your primary service or, or benefit to, to others? You bet. Uh, so what we do is we help seniors and their families navigate the senior living landscape out there. What that means is if somebody is wanting to stay at home, whether they need independent assisted living, memory care, or skilled care, we handhold them through that whole entire move-in. Plus, if they need services around that, we can help with that. Um, a lot of people go, oh my gosh, you're like a real estate agent for independent assisted living and memory care. And I'm like, we, we kind of are um, because we are, we're just like a real estate agent and that we're free to the families. And the way that we get paid is we get a referral fee um, from the community when, when they move in. So uh, we, we do help with, how, with that, that housing portion, but we're also helping with anything that is supportive around that we can help um, as a concierge service, if you will. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, I guess my perception is you're in Omaha, uh, Nebraska, of course, but are there other areas that you also service or is it primarily just the Omaha metro area? We service Omaha, Council Bluffs, Fremont, and Lincoln. Um, and I'll tell you, um, we we do some pro bono work if somebody is um out there in shattered nebraska and they need assistance with their mom we don't go to shattered but we because we're really about servicing we will help people that need some navigation services as well but our focus is is that lincoln omaha fremont council bluffs area okay and i mm -hmm. heard an interesting uh item the other day also when i was uh, talking to uh, other individuals that uh, for the good or bad things, obviously a lot of people are on calls like this on Zoom uh, anymore, uh, but it, it kind of allows people to do business wherever, wherever they want to, I guess, to some extent, and, and do uh, remote uh, Zoom walkthrough tours and, and provide yeah. services in, in like a Shadron or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know, it's, uh, I just, Again, uh, our motto or model really strategy with this business is servicing. And so we want, we don't want to say, oh my gosh, because you, you live in Kearney, Nebraska, um, there may not be a resource there, but we want to be able to help with that um, because you don't know what you don't know. And, um, you know, having six plus years of experience, I've learned a lot 
and I want to make sure that um, our seniors are taken care of. Sure. Yeah. And you might have mentioned this just a little bit ago, but, and so I apologize if this is redundant, okay. but um, who would be your typical, your typical client, the best person you can help, and how do you best help them with your services? You bet. Great question. So, you know, our um, seniors, <laughs> right? Um, we help seniors and um, um, we, we're working a lot with their adult children um, because it does become overwhelming. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, a lot of people think that you have to have lots and lots of money to go into assisted living and that is not the case. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of people would be um, I say that because I think a lot of people don't even look because they're like, I, ca I can't afford that and uh, just call because we can have that dis discussion. Uh, we are looking at people that uh, may want to stay at home. They're, they're in the planning stages. Not, you know what, I'm not ready to go, but I want to have that plan. And we love that because um, there's no better time to look for uh, your future, if you will, whether that's staying at home or assisted living, independent living. Um, when you don't need it. So we love people that are planning, but we also um, are dealing um, a lot with people that are, um, gosh, there was a fall um, and maybe there was a hip broken and they can't go home um, anymore. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're dealing a lot with those two. Um, there's also people that, uh, maybe it's a husband and wife or a, um, a, a child that is um, caregiving for somebody that has um, somebody with dementia. And so they may need a respite stay. Um, so we, we, we will help with that as well. Um, so we're anywhere, um, then from anywhere from, gosh, we're just planning all the way to the, that crisis stage um, or just needing a, a break. Well, we're helping anybody with that. Okay. And if, there's, if there is a typical situation, I guess, what would, uh, and again, like you just mentioned, you work with different stages in that process, but is there something typically that will happen to either the, the homeowner or the, maybe the family, uh, the kids, uh, the adult children that will cause them to search out for your services? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about two parts because we do have the group of, of clients that they want that plan. Um, and so there's not really um, a, a catalyst, if you will, that says, oh my gosh, you know, God, I call Teresa. It's more of, you know what, um, I, want, I want that plan. Um, maybe they saw somebody else going through this that didn't have a plan. So that creates them to have a plan. But a lot of times there is a life event, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, that could be, like I said, the hip. It could be just um, going over and noticing there may be some memory issues going on. Uh, there are a lot of triggers. And uh, if, if anybody ever wants, we have a great um, brochure that talks about some of those warning signs that uh, you, you may need to look for, such as uh, maybe somebody was um, used to be extremely clean and now they're not bathing. Um, it, ben, as you know, um, their house is a, is a great indication, um, right, um, that they need help. If, if the house is uh, on the outside, they're not able to take care of it, or even on the inside, all of a sudden there's hoarding or um, pathways, or it's just unclean or unkept, or maintenance is needing to happen. There are so many signs um, and life events that happen, so I'm just going to categorize them as kind of Warning signs slash um, life events because we could go, we could, t you and I, we could probably talk about that all day long. Correct. That's absolutely <laughs> correct. Um, well, thank you for that information because those are the primary items I think that really are important to uh, individuals that may be watching this. Uh, mm -hmm. That would, I think, be most important to find you and, and ask you about your services. But is there anything else that you would like to add that I haven't asked you about that, that would be beneficial for uh, someone watching this? You bet. Uh, so one of the things I think when you're working with a, um, um, a navigation company, a lot of people will call them placement agencies. And we're more than just a placement agency. We're, we're really helping people navigate. You need to think about some things. Um, first of all, how long have they been in business? 
uh, this is kind of have this is a really niche market and what what we're seeing because of the baby boomers um, there are a lot of people that have been in business they're just all of a sudden popping up um, mm -hmm. so you know a year or two so you want to make sure that somebody has experience and they understand um, you know they understand what's going on and they have that experience to help but also you want to make sure that um, it the way that we get paid as I said before is we get referral fees from communities and we have to have contracts with those communities. So a lot of place, a lot of um, navigation companies or placement companies will only go to places that they have contracts with. So you wanna make sure that um, that who you're working with, if they, they will go to all or just the, the contracted ones because we will, we have contracts with 99.9% .9 of the communities out there um, and even if we don't, we will go to those places because it's if it's the right fit, it's the right fit. It's it's not about our revenue. So you want to look at those kind of things. You want to make sure that the that you're really looking at financials because you only want to move them once. You don't want to move them someplace and have their money drained. And then I'm sure you've seen this too, where they go someplace, they drain their money, and now they're out of money and they have to move again. So um, do your do your homework. Um, when you're looking at it, um, it, it doesn't hurt to have, you know, place phone calls and do interviews um, because you learn, you learn a lot. So, um, and remember, most people have, that are in this business, whether you're a navigation company, um, you're helping people downsize and move, um, home health, we have great hearts and we're really here to help. Um, so don't, don't hesitate to call. Absolutely. And that's uh, <clears throat> just to jump back a little bit in that I, I agree entirely with finding a company that has a track record and some time because as you mentioned, there's a lot of people jumping into all aspects of the downsizing business. Uh, I, I certainly see that after being after doing what I've been doing for 20 plus years that uh, especially with the real estate market, it seems like everybody's out there uh, acting as a home buyer these days. Yeah, yeah. So I, I certainly understand that. And uh, to, to, to find somebody like yourself that has the experience to, uh, to navigate that with, with them. Um, Teresa, how's the best way for people to find you or to contact you and learn more about your, you and your services if they would uh, like to at this point? You bet. So the best way, uh, again, my name is Teresa Jordan, and no, I'm not in. I'm not related to Michael Jordan. I get that all the time. I get that all the time. Um, but phone number is 402-885-5693. Again, 885-5693. Um, I, I take text messages as well as phone calls. Uh, email is Teresa. T E R E S A at care matrix and it's dot net. Go check us out on the web, which is care matrix again dot net. Uh, and um, it has a lot of information um, out there and we keep, we keep expanding it. So yeah, okay. again, just give me a call. I'm, I'm not pushy. Okay. Yeah. I will put uh, your contact information, your phone number and the website, of course, on the, the zoom call notes that will be online after this call. Uh, so if people have an interest, uh, all that will be provided for them too there. And again, thank you for coming on this morning. I, I think what you do is an incredibly important thing and, and a growing important uh, item. And so uh, with that, I will sign off here and, and thank you for joining us again. Thank you so much. Absolutely.